Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm a little sick. I'm recovering from it so I do apologize beforehand if I sound a little off. Anyways, in today's video we are taking a look at the Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Leader Class Optimus Prime figure. Uh, the image is provided by Tauntaun Reviews and I'm going to be a little speculative about this. I'm not saying that Tauntaun is lying or anything like that in any sense of the word. Uh, I, I do believe that he is a very good source. I mean he's been reviewing uh, a lot of the new and upcoming Siege, War for Cybertron toys, and Studio Series figures like the Shatter and the Rampage, and that's all been good. So I'm not saying anything against him, I'm just naturally speculative. Uh, anyways, we had news about the Leader Class Optimus Prime a while back. We got a listing that showed it, and uh, we also had a comic art that had the core figure of the Optimus Prime that seemed to be based on the Ultra Magnus mold. Now I did a video uh, a while back on that and people have pointed out that the cab has the windows that look similar to the leader class Optimus Prime toy from Transformer Cybertron. I didn't really cover that because it could have been just the way the comic was designed but based on this image it seems to be the case that the leader class Optimus seems to be based on the Cybertron design, which is very cool. I like that they're going outside the realm of Generation 1. That's something that I was kind of worried about when I heard that, oh, we're getting MicroMasters, which I'm fine with MicroMasters. I actually wanted that for a long time, but I didn't want them to step away from any other generation type stuff. Uh, but taking a look at the image, it looks pretty cool. Looks like he's got blue ears instead of black. I'm fine with that. Uh, seems like he's got a live yellow in the head. It's a very pixelated image. And the reason why I'm speculative about this is because sometimes when I see a spe uh, pixelated image, um, sometimes it's real, sometimes it's not. Uh, take for example when we first saw that, oh, we were getting a Last Night Onslaught and Hot Rod toy and they're going to be Toys R Us exclusives. Then it turned out that those were all photoshopped. So, again, I'm just naturally speculative, I'm not saying that this is fake or not. Uh, anyways, it seems to carry two large guns, like the Cybertron toy, which is awesome. And uh, when we saw the comic art, we saw that the Optimus Prime was coming with a new gun, so maybe that gun attaches to uh, either of these larger weapons. Uh, that would be cool. He does have the giant wings with the wheels. That's awesome. I like how on the shoulders you can snap on these uh, cab parts. That's really cool. And uh, just overall the design and aesthetic looks very good. Looks very natural to it. Um, and the Cybertron Optimus Prime was actually my first Optimus Prime in my entire collection uh, when I really got into Transformers. So this is really something cool to me. Um, I also wanted to talk about uh, a couple of the other guns because I noticed that in the Ultra Magnus figure he had two black guns that looked a little odd but carried over to the Cybertron aesthetic of Optimus Prime it kind of reminds me of the guns that were placed on the side of his legs so maybe that's a reference to that maybe it's going to be carried over into this toy I hope it does Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you like the look? Do you like the aesthetic? Do you like the fact that they're going outside of the box and not just going with Generation 1? Uh, I, I mean, you still get the core figure, which will kind of look like the Generation 1 figure, but I don't think that now having this, there's no reason to get the current Siege War for Cybertron Voyager class figure. I'm, I'm still wanting to get that. Um, but again, take everything with a grain of salt. I don't know anything about this. Um, but it looks good. Uh, I want to thank Tauntaun Review for the image. Uh, with that said, I thank you guys for watching. Please comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I'll